decided yet. I didn't know which would be the best. Should we just do it here? Good morning. Good morning. Glad to see everyone as we prepare to worship our Lord and Savior today on this Sunday, September 11th. Um, and so we will be a little bit later in the worship service uh, having a time of remembrance and uh, of, of uh, the events of that September 11th so long ago and uh, seeking God and, and looking to him and remembering those who, who, who lost their lives and also those who gave their lives. On, on that day. Um, you'll also note as part of the worship service, we've got a couple of patriotic hymns that Roy has programmed for us. Uh, what he did not know is that the, our, the opening hymn he chose, Eternal Father Strong to Save, which many of you probably know as the naval hymn, that's also the tune of my high school alma mater. So it is one of my favorites of the patriotic type hymns. So, so thank you for, yeah. Who knew? Excellent. Now you know. <laughs> so, uh, so before we get underway with worship proper, just want to call your attention to some of the 
announcements that are in our worship bulletin in the In the Life of the Church. So if you can pull that out of your bulletin while you were doing so, I'll offer a warm greeting to all of y'all who are joining us online via Facebook. And I think the folks from the Kenwood are joining us perhaps as well. So a, a, a hearty howdy to all of y'all there. And um, we are glad that you are sharing your Sunday morning with us. Uh, okay, a couple of the announcements. Uh, first, see that Sunday school begins next Sunday. So uh, youth and children will have uh, some Sunday school opportunities. It is possible that some of y'all might be feeling called by the Lord to participate in Sunday school by leading Sunday school or assisting in, in the nursery. And if so, I do encourage you to touch base with Missy Hardy. She would be delighted to, to talk with you about that. But next Sunday, September 18th, that Sunday school is underway. And then also take a look at the foundations class. Uh, I'll be starting that up next week. That's gonna be an evening class uh, at 4.30. It's gonna run for four weeks. This is my version of the new member class, which is different from, from what we've done before. And it's gonna focus on the basics of Christian discipleship, uh, but it's not just for new members. I invite any church member that wants to be a part of that class. I would like to have some of our members be a, a, a part of that class as well, in part to build relationships and also just get a, a flavor on, on what's going on in my brain about where we're going as a congregation. So I do hope you will uh, consider participating in that. We've, uh, uh, in the past, I've been asking people to fill out one of those prayer forms. Donna in the office has said, Russell, make it easy on them. We've got a sign up <laughs> uh, thing on the clipboard in the entry foyer. So if you wanna be a part of that, just sign up on that and we'll be in touch. It does start next week at 4.30. Last one to point out, you can take a look at all of these at your leisure, but you may have noticed on your way in a little free library that has been installed down by our prayer garden. It looks a, bit, a little bit like a dollhouse on a post. And these are things that have been installed in, in neighborhoods all over the country and indeed all over the world. Uh, it, the, the concept is take a book, drop a book off if you've got a book to share, and we've put it in so that we can uh, further our outreach to the preschool, to the scouts and other folks that use our campus and, and, and walk through our campus. So we're just trying to be a little more inviting. We've got some good Christian literature in there. We've got some great children's books in there. I do encourage you to take a look at that. Stacy Maney sketched out the original design. Ken Wagenhart uh, you know, did the finished design, built it and installed it. So uh, we are pretty excited about that. It's quite lovely. And if, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, just walk on out to the prayer garden after the worship service and you'll see it. It's really, really cool looking. Uh, along those lines, yesterday in the prayer garden, we had a, um, a, a butterfly release service and uh, it was a lovely service. A big thanks to, to Mary Beth and the worship arts team for put, helping put that together. It was quite lovely. And I think we've got a little video that Mike Sturr uh, took. We released butterflies in remembrance of, of folks that uh, we have lost over the uh, past year or so. And there goes the butterfly off. It was just a lovely little moment to, to see all these butterflies uh, flying off some of them just took off right over top of the building. It was, it, it was quite lovely. So uh, thank you to the worship arts team for, for putting that together. It was quite a moving day, morning. Uh, the rest you can take a look at at your leisure. But brothers and sisters, we're here to worship. We're here to turn our hearts and minds to Jesus, who is the author and perfecter of our faith. And so I'm going to invite you as the choir calls us to worship, let this choral call to worship Lift your hearts and minds to contemplate the majesty, the wonder, and the goodness of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, let us prepare our hearts to worship. 